Welcome, this is printing a polyester plate lithograph at home. You'll need your normal lithography tools, a sponge and water, a brayer charged with oil-based ink, a spoon for printing, and I'm using Sharpies, a fine point Sharpie and an ultra fine point Sharpie. You can also use a ballpoint pen for these polyester plates, and I have some paper that's already cut and ready to go. So I've drawn on here, and I've drawn my registration system on the back, which is already prepped on my good paper. I'm going to wet the glass, and then pass the sponge across the polyester plate to stick it to the glass, but also to hydrate it because just like in all other iterations of lithography, you need to alternate between hydrating the plate and passing over with the brayer. So charge, hydrate the plate, pass over. And notice as I have done in other uh, printing videos, I am alternating between my different directions. So I started from the bottom at first, then I started from the left, now I'm starting from the top, and then I'm gonna start from the right and after that I'll be ready to print. Just checking out to make sure it looks good. It's a little hard to see if it has fully collected ink when you are printing black ink on top of a black drawing but what you might be able to see is that the drawing just looks darker, or looks denser because there's now ink on top of it and I'm using the spoon and newsprint just to test and see what that looks like. Just burnishing from the back the same way we printed everything else. I'm not worried about registration at this point. The way these polyester plates work is they have a coating that is slightly acidic and that helps it to attract and repel water from the image areas. So the non-image areas are just more likely to gather water and then that helps the ink just attract only to those image areas. And as, as you can see on the newsprint, it printed pretty well. So I'm just gonna repeat my steps. Uh, I got a little bit of scumming there. The best way to overcome scumming is to just wet it and do some kind of quick passes with the brayer and that kind of snaps up and, or collects the excess ink back into the brayer. But it's the same printing process. You can see I'm brayering a lot because I'm getting these spots of open areas in the fountain. That's again flocculation. And again, the way you correct that is you just keep passing over the brayer. So now looking through it, the back, the nice thing about these polyester plates is they're see-through, so you can see through the back, and that has my T-bar registration. You can look at the stone litho video, the printing video, on how I use the T-bar registration. I just think that's the easiest registration method. And I'm burnishing the back. You can notice that I'm holding it still as best I can with my hand, so my hand is always very close to where I am rubbing or burnishing with the wooden spoon because I don't want to push the paper too far away. And you can see it printed pretty okay, except I'm getting this kind of salt on the bottom, which means I didn't have enough ink. So you can see I'm adding a little more ink with my palette knife to my fountain. But otherwise I'm repeating the same steps by hydrating the plate and passing over the brayer. If you are used to modifying your ink with magnesium carbonate, as I did in the lithography printing video, that is recommended for polyester plate. However, it is not entirely necessary. I would recommend that you do not push or apply any pressure with the brayer and that you are only very slightly hydrating with the sponge because unlike stone lithography, polyester plates don't have a lot to absorb. And if we look at this print, it's a lot better. I'm getting a little bit of salt on the sides, but I'm gonna call that okay. And I'm just gonna print one more just for the consistency. Back to, to the hydration, stones can hold water. So you can use a lot more water when you're printing from a lithography stone. With polyester plate, doesn't really have an ability to hold that moisture. So you just have to have a very thin and consistent veil that you're constantly applying with the water and the sponge. But again, don't overdo it because you get lots of flocculation or it might just not allow the ink to attract to where the image is. And I'm brayering, checking this out. Other hand, that's not burnishing up too far away from the spoon because I wanna make sure that I'm holding it in place. And we'll check this out. And that's looking pretty similar. I'm still getting some salt on the edges, but I think these two are looking pretty good. So this is the way you can print at home. It is not as good as printing in the studio, but it is how you would do it if you just don't have access to a press. Now, cleanup is the same as before. You put on gloves, you use a razor scraper to scrape up the ink. You're going to use oil and Simple Green to clean everything up. The video, uh, I, it's gonna cut out, ran out of memory. But you know what cleaning looks like. If you don't, you can watch one of the previous videos. Ask me if you have questions. I hope this helps.